everybody, welcome. It's Scarlet Pete's Self-Sufficiency. I've been asked to shoot another video on exactly how the milking machine works without the sound of the milking machine going. So I've waited till today to do it because today's been washed down day. So this gentleman has asked me to talk him through how the machine works. So let's start. To milk with a milking machine, you need a machine that makes a vacuum. And you need buckets to collect the milk in, and they come in various shapes and sizes. The milking machine is a little engine with an exhaust and a dial on that tells you how much pressure that the vacuum is made inside this thing here. I don't know the proper name for it. And then from that comes an airline that goes on to a milking machine cluster. This is the cluster that goes onto the cow. Underneath, this is upside down, so this hangs from the cow nearest the floor. This is nearest the floor and this is nearest the other teat here. The machine creates a vacuum that goes along the pipe. And then you have to fit the lid onto a bucket. This is the lid. On top of the lid are two holes. One is the milk line that goes to the cluster and one is a hole here where your air line goes. This goes into this machine part here which is a um, pulsator. It creates a suction and stop on off on off on off. It it does this, I've been told, at the speed of the heart rate of the calf. So it is how a calf would suck. It would go... <coughs> it doesn't just go... <coughs> and run out of air. So this mimics a calf sucking. When this sucks, the air line, which now goes through pulsating from the pulsator on sat on top of the bucket, through to the cluster... And on the cluster, you have an air line there, which is this one. And you have a milk line here, which goes through and pushes the milk through those holes into the bottom of glass of the cluster here. And then this goes along the milk line into the bucket lid. The bucket lid has a rubber seal in the top here which helps seal the air into the bucket when you put the lid up, the handle up, sorry. If the handle is loose, which mine is, you get something small, which I've made a small piece of rubber that goes underneath the handle and just spaces it out when you clip it on. It's on. If you've got a dodgy, wonky lid or a bend in the top of the bucket, this is a fault and it will prevent your bucket in here from having a vacuum built up from the pressure of the airline. Sometimes if it's not too bad, you can push down or you can lean on it with your knee till it gets a vacuum. And basically when the vacuum is good, you should be able to take this little handle down and hold it by this handle and this will be sucked on. The lid will never fall off. Once you've got an air pressure up, the airline here, so the vacuum's gone through, then it sucks onto this, so the airline goes on here. That's the airline, but I can't reach over there at the minute. This will then make the sucking sound on, off, on, off, on, off. And that will continue the air suction into the cup, into the airline, sorry. And inside the airline here, then we have a, um, a complete seal here and this in here has a piece of rubber which squeezes on and off or inflates. As it inflates it squeezes around the finger or the teat and this is what does the milking action like that. It squeezes on and off, on and off inside here. When that then provides you with milk it goes down into the glass jar bottom. This is a different type and there is a glass part, so you can see the milk flow there. The milk will be going in here, and this is the airline that would inflate 
the liner, it's called a milking liner, that's inside this pipe. On the bottom of the cluster here, we have an on-off switch. When you open it this way, it stops the air going through this hole, the air line, the milk line, sorry. It stops the air going, the milk flowing and the air happening. So this stops the suction on the cow's teat and the cluster will fall off. So when you've got it on the cow, you use this to twist it on and create the air lock, the air seal. And now there is a through flow from the milk line, which has come from the milk bucket, the vacuum. In our milking parlour, I don't use this button. What I actually use is kinking the air line at the top here, which is much easier. So imagine that's the air line. You just kink it. You see the kink? When they're new, that's really difficult to do. But when you've used them a while, you can see that's where mine has the airline break. You have to watch though, because these are like three, four years old now. They're getting cracked. So when you break the seal there, the, the airline, the air builds up in here. And if you put your thumb on and release the, the kink in the airline, it'll suck it in. And that's basically what you do with the cow. You hold this with one hand underneath the cow, and the second hand, and while you've done it, all, all these are bent down. See, they bend, they bend like a spider downwards, like that. So that's breaking the air lines, not the milk lines. And then when that's under the cow, you take a thumb, ready on the top of the line that you're going to put on, liner that you're going to put onto the cow's teat. You keep your thumb on the top of it, you straighten the air line, and then Put this directly underneath the teeth that's hanging here and as you move your finger, your thumb, it'll suck straight in the cow's udder, the teat. That is how your milking bucket works. When you've got all four on, then you check through your glass bottoms or through the glass liner bottoms here at the ends, you check that you've got a milk flow, flow through each quarter of the cow and you'll see that they're all milking equally. Now then, what else do we need to know? Let's think. When the cow's finished, so it will take about seven minutes. So you need to get this on as quickly as possible so you don't lose the oxytocin that the cow has released at the sound of the milking machine going on. She knows she's going to get milked and the milk will start flowing. So you need to get this on really quickly. And it's a bit of a handful in the beginning. Believe me, it's very difficult to do. But it gets quicker because you practice twice a day. When the milk flow stops after about seven minutes, then you can use this to switch off the air line because you'll see no milk flowing. You'll just see like a little drizzle and that's just the residual in the, air line, in the milk line. Then you can switch off the airflow with this. That's the only time we use it for switching off. When that stops the vacuum, you hold your hand under the cluster and wait for it to drop down into your hand off the cow's udder. Don't pull it, it'll just happen and it'll just drop down. Just make sure by pulling this down a little bit that there is a tight seal there and the milking is complete. When the milking is complete and the, the milk, then you lift this straight up to drain your milk line down to your bucket. Then when you've milked and you want to stop, you can take the air line off here or instead of using the button on the bottom of this, you could have taken the airline off here, waited for the cluster to drop into your hand. And when your machine has stopped making a suction sound and you can hear it takes generally about 20 seconds. That's the point you switch your milking machine off on the wall. Never switch the milking machine off when it's in vacuum, as in when the bucket is working with the vacuum or milking, because it will make the engine rotate backwards and damage it badly. So now when you've milked the cow, then it's time to give her a little rub down, put some oil on her teats or whatever product you use, give her a little cuddle, make sure she's finished her food, which will be in the bucket, because the bucket would have been ready for feed in the first place and she'd have been chewing and munching, and the food will last as long as the milking, if you have it right, or a bit longer. And then we release her from her area, make sure she's got water, and then it's time to take the lid off your bucket, drain your milk, filter your milk, and move on.
It's a beautiful evening here on the farm and it's nearly time for us to go do the milking. I really hope that this um, milky machine description and chat has helped you, especially the gentleman that has asked me for writing, for, for, um, for the video sp specifically without the machine on. Sorry about the noise in the background, that's the husband with his grinder going. But I'm hoping this video has helped you. If you've got any questions, please ask in the comments. If there's anything you don't understand, obviously I'll try and help to the best of my knowledge. And maybe if you need another bit of a video on the next process or dealing with the milk or whatever, just give me a comment. Let me know if this has helped you. Lots of love to you all. Thanks very, very much for watching. Watching, sorry washing the cat the horse has just had a wash <laughs> thank you all for watching see you soon like subscribe give me a comment so i know you're there and even give me a share that would be great bye bye darlings bye bye Mwah. enjoy the sunset